So now Elijah has been threatened by Jezebel. And uh, she says that uh, by the end of the day, he's going to be with the 450 uh, prophets of Baal. So he runs away into the wilderness and hides under a broom tree. And the angel of God goes, what are you doing here? And he takes him to uh, to the wilderness to these caves. And he's in the caves. And, and the voice of God says, what are you doing here? And, uh, and um, so he has him go to Syria, goes to Damascus, and that's where he meets Elijah, and Elijah becomes his um, apprentice. Uh, it, it's one of those stories I had to read twice. I couldn't keep it in my brain. I, was, I, I try to meditate on the scripture that I read all day, and I just had to come back home and then read, reread it before, and then um, had to read it again this morning. So I had to read that three times to retain it. So something not, something happens. Um, some of the scriptures, um, I have to do that. I don't know why. <clears throat> the, uh, I had my buddy Michael Caballero call me last night. He was coming back from, um, Houston and uh and it was good talking to him he always is he's a pastor and so i was telling him you know what was you know what i read and uh what it you know clicked in my brain uh there's i'm part of trail life usa so i'm the i was a charter organizational rep for the Trail Life USA chapter in the Rio Grande Valley at Center Church in Far, and they had these two guys, and they were had a background in scouts, and uh, one was an ex-military, and the other one, um, well, they're both postal carriers, and um, the one guy had gone through and read the way he read the Bible was he read a chapter the same chapter every day for a month. And uh, he's very knowledgeable. So he does like a Bible basics in the very beginning of every trail life meeting. And then the other guy's got a background in the army. And he's a really good leader. I, I like his style. Um, he's, he's a, he has in his mind the vision of how things are going to be. And, and he makes it that way. It's pretty interesting how he does it. Now something started happening, and I, I didn't figure out why till last night. There's a new guy, and he's in from up around the Dallas area, but he's down here taking care of his parents, and he's got a son who's going through the whole trail life program. He's about ready to become like the Eagle Scout version of trail life, and so we've been meeting at the prayer center in Mission. Well, I found out why, because they live right across the street, and they're not affiliated with a specific church. They do um, home worship. They homeschool school in home worship. I'm like, oh, okay. So we're trying to get some more participation with uh, the boys from Center Church. And Pastor John has a pool, has a nice pool in his house. And uh, so he's allowed us to use his pool to teach swimming to the boys. So we're going to offer, offer the swimming the lessons up to the uh, boys from the church, even if they may not be involved with trail life, but it's to get them engaged and, and um, participating in the uh, be part of it, even because the church did, is a sponsor of the Trail Life Troop. So that's uh, where I'm in my new apartment. I'm going to be having a little get-together tonight with some friends for a little, um, 
open house um, at uh, 1204 North 20th Street, Apartment 2, uh, here in McAllen.